Hey, hey, you're back at the Mexican Grill with Easy Jeezy. We're headed over to a buddy of mine's house. Thought we'd stop and get a couple breakfast burritos. Where he's got a 1948 Ford 8N tractor. And we're gonna do a little uh, tune up on it. And uh, I've never worked on one of those before, but I think it should be pretty straightforward. Same kind of technology as a Volkswagen, except six volt. I love these little roads. I lived here long enough for, I've, this is what I look for. Sometimes, I just get tired of being home. Being retired is fine, but sometimes you just gotta get someplace, go someplace. <laughs> Just feel a bunch of elk in those people's yard. Oh, how'd you like to wake up to a yard full of elk poop? <laughs> well, here we are at my friend Lance's, and this is the uh, tractor in question. And it's gonna be a real short video. The uh, engine and transmission is also the frame. I, I love how Ford did these kinds of things. And this is your canister type oil filter. Here's your uh, oil dipstick and it was full of oil. It looked like new. And this is where you, uh, the air vent, crankcase ventilation, and where you add, add it. You got a nice little top up here with a six volt battery that needs to be charged. So we kind of are stuck on that. And uh, what's this? It comes with a tool kit. Hey, did you know this came with a tool kit? Yeah. Hammers from 1951. <laughs> oh, that must be the air cleaner. You know, that's something we ought to check out too. And here's the fuel tank. It's got the radiator up front. Man, this thing is so cool. I don't know anything about them. Uh, this is probably the closest I've ever gotten to one. I wish we could fire it up. Uh, we got to wait on that battery. And uh, the uh, distributor cap is brand new, but it's been sitting in the sun and it's all weather checked. And you've got an updraft carburetor. Ford Model A's were that way, so I'm not surprised that Henry Ford's tractor a Ford tractor <clears throat> would uh, use the same proven methods. Uh, Henry Ford just loved uh, industrial machinery, big boilers and farm equipment and basically this little tractor it's just got your power takeoff here in the back and you've got some uh, I thought this was really interesting how this um, like a brush hog you know how the Grim Reaper would have the big sickle? That's how they used to cut grass and wheat and different things back in the day. Everything was by hand. And even though this is old, you've got the point that kind of separated it. And then these cutters, look at those. There's even teeth on them. And this thing just sits out here in the weather year after year. I don't know. Lance and I were talking about, I wonder what's in the steel. You know, this is probably first time steel. It's good stuff. And you always see farm equipment just sitting outdoors for long periods of time and it's still there. You take a modern car <laughs> and you're gonna, it's gonna look like that boat. All the fiberglass and plastic that's on cars. And it's got this blade, so, and there was probably a disc in this whole pile of stuff. Just amazing. But this made life so much easier. This is a 1948 uh, small tractor and I always uh, like to come out here and visit with Lance and check out the beautiful surroundings. He's not that far from town and it's pretty cool. Well, it's springtime. Guess we should fertilize the yard. Look at all those elk laying there.
<laughs> Your own pet elk. Here's more of them right here. We're in town, guys. <laughs> outskirts of town but still in town okay it's about two months later in case I deleted it this is uh, my friend's Ford tractor we're trying to get it fired up I have no experience with these things but I have a fascination with all things mechanical so I was lucky enough to join him we put a new uh, sediment uh, bowl under the gas tank pretty slick the gas tanks underneath here it's a Ford tractor by the way what, what model is this or what year 1948 8m 1948 8m and you got a little 6 volt battery positive ground little air cleaner little toolbox the front end attaches to the front of the engine block Tires look good. I've seen military vehicles with the original tires on them from the 40s. And it's, I don't know what they used for the rubber tires back then, but I have some Michelin tires and they got weather check cracks on the inside of them. They're about 20 years old, but it's just uh, crazy. We're putting the carburetor back on. We cleaned it out and made a gasket out of a piece of uh, manila. You want to smear a little uh, grease around the outside of that? It should go. There we go. Now remember, one of us has to bleed and wipe our blood on the tractor part. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your tractor, so it's your obligation. Birds like a kid. I apologize for the sudden ending guys but I did not get a chance to drive the tracker or watch Lance drive the tracker and uh, I just thought it was kind of a, a fun adventure something different from what I normally do thought I'd take you along so uh, see you on the next one thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy